Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode and this time we are on an adventure episode time, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is full adventure time, yeah. I would say. It's all happening. Now guys, look, we're not going to let you know what's happening in this video. Yeah. And we actually don't know what's going to happen either, yeah, let's be honest. It's full adventure, yeah. 100% yeah. adventure. Mm -hmm. Now, there will be a little bit of a hint dropped at the end of this video telling you what this is leading to. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say, it's a year in the making. Yeah. A year. Yeah. But let's do it. Let's get into it. I know, where the bloody hell are we? Aren't we mad? Check this out, mate. Check this out. Can, can you see that? Can you see that? Bridget, can, can, can they see everything here? No? This is, this is like a snow if, trip without the, the benefits of a snow they're trip. They're blind and dead because they're frozen. Mm, I know, you guys are probably thinking, where the hell are we? Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, you probably understand after the the thumbnail of this video, hey Bridget, and everything. Yeah, and so anyway, we're on our way. We just stopped at our first stop last night. We, we killed a few hours on the road last night. <clears throat> anyway, we'll have a big day today, this morning. We've got the Patriot with us. We've got the Cruiser. Anyway, and we're gonna put some hours behind this wheel and take you guys with us. So, come board. Keep all appendages inside the vehicle and stay warm because it's, it's a bit cold. Wow. Life to me. Uh, hey, uh, hey. Oh, oh no. Close. Get it in there, girl. Are you a bit dry? <laughs> I'm not dry, I'm cold. No. How is it? Are your hands cold? No. Oh. Me too. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh wow. It's gonna hurt. What oh, is it? Yeah, brushing teeth is a small delight of life. Yeah. big hole in my wallet that's going to appear. Oh, it's a big, big yeah, hole. Look at it. Look at it now. Oh no. Oh no. He's good. He's happy. Mm -hmm. Tesla, come at me. <laughs> We're actually on Klamuroi country right now and they, these folk, they had a deep connection with the earth and also the sky. You see, they used the constellations and when they saw certain constellations, they knew, for example, when they saw an emu, that this was the time that emus were laying their eggs. So they'd go out hunting and looking for those eggs for food. So cool. We love learning about these indigenous tribes and countries and all the things they use to help them survive in the country. Amazing.
this, this is cool. Now, we're pretty much, um, we're about two hours uh, east of Koba, uh, which is, oh look, maybe, um, let's say Crow's Fart away from Broken Hill, which is then pretty much next to the border. Anyway, two hours out of Koba, and we are in like central Queensland almost. And look how much water's here. Now, obviously, if you've been following the news recently, um, there's been a heap of floods in like the central New South Wales area. So I'm guessing this is somewhat related, right? <laughs> the floods, possibly, I don't know. I don't think it's this high normally. If you have a look at how close it is to the top of the bridge and stuff and the gum trees here as well. Might be wrong, but I think the floods would definitely be contributing to, the, to this. Wild. Anyway, so tonight, we're gonna stay, um, I think west of Cobar. We'll see if we can find a good camp spot. Somewhere we can light a fire, Sophie. Fire would be good. Fire would be good. Anyway, and hopefully we can find some more animals for you guys as well, so. Adventure time, baby. Adventure time. Yeah. I'm gonna make a t-shirt for you. Oh, really? Because it's cotton. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that cotton on. Yeah. Hey? yeah. All right, as Bridget said, we're staying west of Koba tonight, or potentially, who knows? Who knows where we'll be? But we're gonna have fire, fingers crossed, because it's bloody cold last night. Yeah, if, we, so, if you don't hear from us after this, actually, you might hear from <laughs> us who knows? in video. Who knows? So they might not know. But there's heaps of cotton on the sides of the road here. So um, anyway, we're gonna collect some of that so we can use this fire starter. Simple as that, mate. Let's see how it goes. It is. Camp for tonight. Ooh, ooh, fireplace. It's gonna be good. What do you think? Concentrating? Right. Look at this. <gasps> and what we could do is. So you guys might be thinking, why the hell aren't we taking our time to do this trip, right? Well, we don't have a lot of time because we're actually doing this in between work. And uh, we've had a few um, inconvenient sort of hiccups with paperwork and timing of doing this. But that's okay, because we're steaming down and steaming back up just for this one thing and it's worth it but you're just gonna have to wait and find out. Alrighty folks, we got our cotton from the road. It helps out our fire. We got some flint now. I have no idea if she had this. So, oh, here we go. She's all there. She's all happening. Let's see if this works. Oop. 
Whoa! Oh my god, it's all happening! Oh my god, it really took off. <laughs> oh my god, it went. The cotton? Mate, it took off. Look at it. it went. Oh my god, mate, what? it's off. Is that this? Oh, my eyes. My I've eyes. never been able to start a fire with a thing. <laughs> Are As Birdie from YBS would say, we got fire, baby! Oh, that's dangerous. You can jump over fire again. Oh, yeah. Girlfriend in front. So beautiful. <laughs> Look, anyway, guys, we're at camp. Ah, we got the fire burning. We got strong on tonight. Dave's done so well driving, doing the hard legs. Okay, oh, yeah, and uh, look, anyway, we're here for the night. We're oh, gonna wake up early. Hardly have to change gear. We're gonna hit the frog and toad in the morning. And we got how, how long of a drive bridge? Eleven hours. Ten hours. Ten. Good evening. I'm just gonna accommodate for Bridget's miscalculation. Let's go for eleven and a half, oh maybe God, twelve. The, the okay. shots are firing thick today. Pew 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 pew. Look, anyway, we're gonna have a great night. Um, it's gonna be a lot so warmer than last night. I got an apple juice in the fridge for you. Oh, Bridget, is that your other twin there? A oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was a turnip. <laughs> <laughs> oh Look, anyway, we'll bring you along if anything exciting happens tonight. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Um, it's gonna be a ripper. It's gonna be a ripper of a drive. <laughs> Wee! Amazing are these colours with the orange and the blue. Gotta love Australia. Now, just to give you some context of our trip we've been doing. So, we've left from our facility up in Ballina. We've come down the coast and then from Grafton we've shot out west. So, the first night we stayed at was at Armadale. Very freezing, uh, minus seven. Um, and then we've gone past Tamworth, across Dubbo. Uh, and then just gone to Cobar for the second night, which was a fantastic free camping spot. I'd highly recommend. Now uh, we're now only about an hour east of Broken Head, uh, Broken Hill. So very two different places. And um, we're just so surprised by how much water is out here. Now in terms of wildlife, it is winter, so we haven't seen many reptiles, of course, lots of bird life. But the thing we're seeing a lot of and which I'm really surprised about is goats. Now goats are a feral animal here in Australia. They're not native. And why is this an issue? Why are they such an issue for our area? They eat so much. They eat so much. So they eat the foliage on the ground. And also they can climb trees, believe it or not. They're really good at climbing trees. Obviously not like a monkey, but they can do it pretty well. Better than you probably can expect. Um, and there's been so many of them. Between Cobar and here, We've seen heaps of goats. Hopefully Dave's getting some footage for you of those goaties we've just seen. But like I said, how are these colors? I hope you're enjoying it too. Now, pretty much where we're gonna end up, like I said, we started in Ballina. We're gonna end up in Adelaide. So if you don't know about Australia, um, Ballina is in Northern New South Wales. Adelaide is in South Australia, which is kind of like the bottom bite of Australia. So we're traveling a bit of distance, 22 hours each way. Anyway, it is for a good thing, so stay tuned.
over the place. Ooh, we've got some space. There. Oh, look! What is that mechanism over there? You belong in there. Oh my god, Sophia, you're returning these pieces of things to their rightful home. I know, they've been, they've been home. A lot. They've been left for so long. They're homeless, but and then just they're there. It's just there, but they just can't. There. These, they can't. They just can't trot over. I'm not know? gonna touch that one. That, that seems. Uh, oh, we'll pick up this one. That, yeah, the, the plastic. I mean, I guess at least that's gonna break down. But if it's got pooey on it. If it's got purely on it, I'm not touching it. What's this? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Sometimes Fruit I get real, real sour about these things. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've we've entered South Australia. We've entered. We've entered. And you know what we found? Oh, hello there. A lot of fans. It's windy. <laughs> it is super windy. So many so fans. You, All so our subscribers. Fill me out there. Here. <laughs> it's, windy. it's windy and cold. It is. How do you feel about it? We're gonna continue moving on because we're not staying here. But we're two hours out from our leg, which is our final destination. All right, guys, we're here about 10 minutes away from our final destination before we turn around and do the trip back home. We're on top of that destination. Pretty much. Yes. Now, yeah. if you haven't understood how long this trip has taken us, it's, come, it's like probably a 10 minute video for you. But, um, well, yeah, it's taken a very long time, but it's also been like a year in the making. Mm. 22 hours on the, the road it was. Mm -hmm. And a year of waiting. Yeah, for waiting, this moment. But not just waiting, like doing a lot of figuring out, like talking to heaps of people. It's been... There's been a lot happening behind the scenes. Now, if you guys know, I've been following us for mm -hmm. quite some time. You kind of probably have a hint as to what we're talking about here. But we're going to we're gonna leave it to the next video. Yeah, sorry about that. So you're going to have to stay tuned in the next few weeks to see what really does happen. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. For us, it's going to happen right away. So you probably want to subscribe. It's down there somewhere. Yeah, or down here. No, it's definitely down there. Down here? Or okay. maybe, now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it's like, very exciting. Subscribe. Remember, it really helps us out. But... We'll see you shortly. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Let's do for it. you, it's a few weeks. For us, it's going to be like... Right now. In like an hour. Suckers. Yeah. See you later. <gasps> Every month. I think we should like do like a little snippet like behind a little crocodile snap and we'll tell them like what's picking, getting happen. Oh, yes. You yes. know, like... Yeah. Yeah, like a little... Little tease. Little, you know, cannon thing. Yeah. Running around. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. Maybe that's enough. <laughs>